So I've kind of had a realization of sorts in the past, I don't know, probably three or four months. And as I talk about in a lot of my videos, I think that we all, myself included, tend to overcomplicate things, especially when it comes to color selection. But I've kind of come up with a, you know, simple three, I guess a four color system for this chatterbait that will help kind of simplify your choices if you're going to the, to the sporting goods store and want to buy a couple. So I personally divide it into two categories, bluegill or shad. Now it might vary depending on where you're located, but let's, let's call it panfish and baitfish. So that leaves me with two options, either kind of like a green pumpkinish color or a white color. Again, that's simple enough, but I'll actually divide that even further. So if I think the bass are eating shad, I'm gonna go with two different schemes here. If it's sunny, I'm gonna choose a trailer and a head and a skirt with a little bit more flake to it. See how when I turn that, it kind of glistens and whatnot? So when the sun's high like it is today, that's kind of what I'm more apt to use. That's why it's tied onto my rod right now. So that head shines, you got a little glitter in the, uh, in the skirt, and that razor shad is popping in the sun. So if it's sunny and I think they're eating on shad, I'm gonna use something with a little bit more bling on it. Now, if it's cloudy and they're eating shad, I'm gonna stick with a similar white color pattern, but I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a matte finish. So this one right here, as you can see, it doesn't have as much bling as that last one did. Skirt's fairly matte. The head's not very shiny, anything like that. So when it's cloudy, I personally feel like this color gives off a little bit better of a silhouette to the bass. You know, 10 to one on a cloudy day, matte colors outproduce the shiny colors. All right, now when it's sunny outside and I believe the bass are eating bluegill, I want something as natural as I can possibly get it. I don't want too loud of colors on there. I don't want too much glitter on there. So I, I tend to go for more, more of a uh, straight green pumpkin color. I've got, a straight green pumpkin razor shad's on there. Nice and flexible, catch a bunch of fish on it. And this color, no bling to it. It's just simple as can be. But this is what I found works best on those sunny high sky days. All right, so on those cloudy days and the conditions like we discussed, a warmer water temperatures, and I think the bass are primarily feeding on sunfish, I'm gonna be more apt to choose this particular color is called Bee Height Delight. It's got a little bit of chartreuse on the bottom, uh, which emulates a bluegill fairly well. It's got you know a lot of fleck in that skirt color as well. And my thought process behind this is fairly simple. You know, it's darker outside, so I need some sort of light color to kind of brighten that bait up, make it pop a little bit, and make it a little bit easier to track for these bass. In my opinion, I, I really sat down and started thinking about this one day. I think maybe that green pumpkin, the straight green pumpkin on a cloudy day, kind of gets lost in the, uh, in the noise, you could call it, when you're reeling it through grass. Uh, it just kind of blends in with everything a lot. This gives you a little bit of pop to it, a little bit of bling, just to give that bass, it's like pointing a laser pointer at a cat. It's always going to chase it around. So this Be Height Delight color is, I mean, really for cloudy days, it's, it's outstanding. 